So I got a comment saying that uh, someone wanted to see more about fascia and how it works. And so instead of using an orange today, we're going to use an onion. And the onion has many layers, just like the human fascia. So if we take an onion here, now I cut it in half, but um, you know, this outside crunchy edge, that's, that's the skin. Now the skin is very, very protective to us. It adds a lot of um, boundary to the outside world, but it also lets in the good stuff like vitamin D from the sun. And it also lets out some of the bad stuff like allowing us to secrete our perspiration, it, you know, so that we don't overheat. So the skin is uh, a very important layer, but it is the first layer of fashion. It can be dissected all by itself, as you can see, okay? And that is what this will be. It's the outside layer and that is the skin. The next layer of fascia is the superficial fascia, which is this ring here. All right, this is the layer underneath the skin that can also be dissected separately, and it is what we currently know as more of the adipose layer or fat layer, but it actually is a, a layer of fascia and plays a significant role in our movement and is very permeable. So if this is our skin between here and with the end of that superficial fascia, it's more permeable than the skin. It has a lot of, um, flow going through because there's nerves and blood vessels that run through there and lymphatic ducts and all of that stuff. So this is our superficial fascia layer. So we got a third layer here, okay, and that is the deep fascia. And the deep fascia is where we have our muscles, okay? But these muscles are all protected by layers of fascia uh, and they are gonna be the, the more deep area that's beyond that fat layer, it's where the muscles begin and that is the deep fascia. Also uh, has a lot of blood vessels and nerves, but they're gonna be a little bit thicker and play a little bit more role in the uh, function of our body at this layer. And so our next layer is going to be the visceral fascia. This is the center of us. This is where all of our organs are uh, surrounded by individual bags that all connect to each other, and everything along the way is going to be connecting to each other, but this center piece here is where uh, we have uh, all our organs, and this is a very important section here because this is where we were kind of conceived and kind of grew into a starfish, um, and this is where we begin. Three important areas to really consider here in the middle here of this uh, visceral fascia is the liver, the heart, and the brain. Uh, the liver is, uh, it kind of dictates the motion, so that's going to really control our consciousness. Uh, despite the brain, our consciousness really starts in the liver. And if you're deficient in the liver, you're not going to be able to control emotions. Uncontrolled emotions are going to create different streams of consciousness, the way you react and the way that you carry yourself. Uh, the heart obviously is going to uh, be more involved with the, uh, the, the circulation, but it also has a lot of electro um, magnetic waves that come out, uh, as the liver does as well, and so does the brain. And all three of these are going to permeate all the way out through this final layer of the skin. So each layer is going to get penetrated from the liver, heart, brain, and the other organs as well. So what we've got here, um, the heart is going to have arteries that run out and veins that run in. And the closer to that visceral fascia that it is, is going to be a much thicker uh, and, and, and larger structure as you start to get through into the next couple of layers all the way down to between the superficial fascia and the skin it becomes very very small thin but it still runs all the way down to the skin this is very important to know because when we complete our daily habit challenge when we're doing self myofascial release we need to realize that even just getting a little bit of superficial uh, blood flow going is going to be very important to the big picture here in the blue here we have where the brain comes into action here and it's where you have a lot of um, nerves that start out real big and thick coming down from the spinal cord from the base of the brain and becomes peripheral nerves and um, it goes all the way to the skin so you know if something's hot you're going to pull away or if someone pitches you you're going to say ow right and again that goes through all the different layers and they communicate all these layers communicate with each other into the center where the visceral fascia is and this is kind of an idea or another picture besides the orange on how there's many layers to ourselves. There's, we're bags inside bags inside bags. We always have a covering. There's always uh, a connection between each layer. And as we go forward, looking at sub mile fast release, this just might make you make it your daily healthy habit. So 
Thanks for watching. I want to let you know that no, uh, uh, this is going to get eaten, okay? This was not harmed in any way. This onion was going to be preserved and uh, eaten. But as you can see, this middle layer, that would be similar to this area. And it just keeps going out and out and out. And that is the onion layer compared to our fascia. Each layer contributes to the next layer. There's permeability and everything talks to each other. So make sure you have plenty of water. Keep on peanutting. Be well. And remember, the issue is with the tissue.